Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today here on the Eric Outer channel, well, we are going to take a look here at these Razor Slim electronic earmuffs from the company Walkers. Now here on the Eric Outer channel, this is the firearms side of the Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So if you're into hiking, camping, backpacking, knives, flashlights, different types of gear, backpacks, and all sorts of great things, EDC, and even tactical, take a look at my Outer Limitless YouTube channel where you can get some more details. That is really my primary channel, but here on the firearms side of things, well, at this particular time, I am literally a novice when it comes to firearms. I'm just getting started, and I'm really relying on people to give me some guidance. Now I'm here getting ready for a family trip. I have a really cool, cool opportunity. I'm meeting up with Jacob Peterson of the Preppers Bunker Outdoors, where, well, we're going to do some shooting. And when I was talking to Jacob, I'm like, look, man, you know, I really need some tips and tricks and some different things. Maybe we could shoot some videos together, get some content for our channel, do a little bit of shooting. And he said, well, we need to talk for a minute about some safety. And I'm like, you know what? You're talking my language because, quite honestly, safety is the number one thing for me. Now... He said, do you have earmuffs? I said, yes, I do. And well, I've been mowing my lawn for years and years and years using these standard earmuffs. And well, if not that, I've been going to, you know, concerts and loud events with these, you know, little earplugs here and jamming them in my ears. So I'm like, yeah, I have hearing protection, no problem. And well, what did Jacob say to me? No, man, you need electronic earmuffs. And I'm like, oh, well that didn't even dawn on me. So, you know, I thought I was gonna be getting myself into a fairly expensive piece of kit, but no, here are these Walker's Patriot Series Razor Slim Electronic Earmuffs. Very, very reasonable. I thought it'd be well over $100. I'm less than half of that to get into these. But how are they going to perform? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to get into this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a quick look at these as I unbox them, get them ready. I'm gonna pack them up, bring them with me on vacation, and then we're gonna hit the range with Jacob from the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so before we get too far, I would like to say thank you to Jacob Peterson at the Preppers Bunker Outdoors for his advice. And that's the thing, going to the point where, again, I will mention that I am literally a novice. I literally just picked up my very first firearm. I'm getting things started here. So this channel at this point is a little bit novice to novice. But if you've stumbled across this and you're more of an expert or a seasoned veteran, please do me a favor, leave some comments below. If there's anything I've learned from running my Outer Limitless YouTube channel, it's that you guys have incredibly valuable input lots of really great ideas and experience to share. So have you used these Walkers Razor electronic earmuffs? Are there other brands that you would suggest? Is this even the right thing? And the first thing for me that catches my attention, these have a 23 decibel noise reduction rating. Now, usually, you end up with somewhere between like zero and 30, something like that. These are 23. Now, is this enough? Is this going to do what I need it to? Uh, that's the first question. And again, I pretty much will find out through doing. Now, as you look at it here, these are pretty cool. I got these in the desert tan. These also come in black. And you'll see here they came with a nice limited edition flag morale patch. That's one of the things that I, and I know it sounds kind of funny, but I did kind of enjoy about these, the fact that they had a little morale field on the side, which is just kind of cool. They had excellent ratings. In full disclosure, I bought these right on Amazon.com, so it was very easy and convenient. And that's the thing, I needed these in a hurry, picked them up, got them right away. So I am pumped to have these in my hands and hopefully it'll do exactly what I need. But getting into this here, let's just dig these out. Nice, you can see the tan kind of matching. So pretty good desert tan color there, which is pretty cool. And as we get into this, and actually they are technically calling these flat dark earth. So excuse me, uh, flat dark earth here for the color. 
and we'll just take these out and I'm gonna try to be just a little bit careful popping out those morale patches there you go and the earmuffs now the first thing I think is pretty cool if you look at these patches very wisely done so if you look at the way you're supposed to display the flag it's in the marching direction and the fact is they provide these actually accurately so you can do that so that is very cool and then these are very compact which seems to be pretty nice the idea that these just fold up really tidy and when you compare that footprint say to example these you know you are really able to save some space these don't really fold up very well and bottom line is the electronic earmuffs definitely do now these feel to have just a little bit of weight not overly cumbersome but at the same time you know they have electronics in them they have speakers and actually just a little bit of weight there but feeling pretty nice and as we unfold these let's take a quick look they actually come with batteries so that's cool some instructions and all right so this pretty much just like flops out like this so pretty simple a little bit of plastic to keep everything tidy and here you go so adjustability well these do definitely expand out so as you can see there to adjust for the size of your head which is nice and again comparing them to what i'm used to they look to be just about the same size now i don't have an incredibly large head so this is going to be more than enough but getting these situated that's pretty cool here you can see your knob on the side so on off volume seems to be a very smooth dial down here this is for an eighth inch jack so you can actually plug in your eighth inch jack if you wish um, my phone these days is a usb type c so i can't really really rock tunes i would need some sort of an adapter if i wanted to run these off of my phone and just have some tunes um, these are not a bluetooth model that's the one thing i probably could have and maybe should have invested in but i figure time will tell i mean am i really gonna be like using these jamming out to tunes for now no these are literally a safety device but if i was smart and got like a bluetooth model could i use these all over the place absolutely in fact i'd probably enjoy that and you know sound canceling and you know a little bit of tunes in there and could i use these you know going around the yard and doing yard work yeah probably um will i do that no right now these are specifically for shooting and i'm going to treat them that way getting into these a little bit looks like the compartment is on the top here so as i swing these around how do i get into the compartment just taking a little bit of finagle in there but that does pop off and you can see that's where the batteries go very easy sliding the batteries into place two triple a's so two triple a batteries right in there getting the cover back and into place again very easy and is there any sort of light or indicator here no so the way these work is well you end up with some microphones here so if people are talking you can kind of hear but at the same time cancels out the low frequencies of the firearm and i'm looking here this is a little bit interesting so nrr which is the noise reduction rating so it says although hearing protectors can be recommended for protection against the harmful effects of m impulsive noise the noise reduction rating is based on the attenuation of continuous noise and may not be an accurate indicator of the protection attainable against impulsive noise such as gunfire the level of noise entering a person's ear when hearing protector is worn as directed is closely approximated to the difference between the a weighted environmental noise level and the nrr so what they're saying here is the environmental noise level as measured at the ear of 92 decibels so they're assuming that the gunfire is 92 decibels and even though the packaging says a 23 decibel reduction 
here it says the NRR or noise reduction rating is 22 decibels. So the level of noise entering the ear is approximately equal to 92 decibels minus 22 decibels. So that's roughly 70 decibels from the gunfire that is still going to make it to your ear which 70 decibels is in reality about as loud as a vacuum cleaner. So that's not too bad and it is instantaneous sound. It's not like it's continuous like a vacuum cleaner. And the question is, would you wear hearing protection with a vacuum cleaner? I would say definitely not. So these seem like they should do the job. Um, I am going to definitely need to test these out and we're gonna see plenty of footage soon. But with that said, how do they feel? Now getting these on my head, definitely comfortable. It's actually kind of funny sounding as I talk to you here because well, at this point it is dramatically cutting down on the ambient sounds. Now I am going to turn, oh, interesting. All right, so turning on the switch here, I can definitely hear that my voice. So now I can hear my voice audibly through the speakers. Now. I have a fundamental problem with these right away. This is gonna drive me absolutely crazy. They are making a chattering sound, literally continuously going K -k 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 in my ears. I don't know why. And that really sucks. Cause, well, that's just frankly annoying as hell. So that's a bad sign already. Is there interference from something? It's, it's weird, because as I move, I wonder if it's coming from my lights. No, it's not going away. Although it changes depending on my location. So I feel as though these are picking up some sort of interference from something. So at this point, let's get these out to the range. I'll be curious to see how these perform. Jacob. How you doing, man? Good, what's happening? Well, not a whole lot, just a great day of walking the woods and hopefully shooting some guns. I appreciate you having me. So we've been talking knives for a little bit. We're gonna turn the corner into the afternoon here. We're gonna talk a little bit about firearms and firearm safety. Now, on this particular section of my channel, this is brand new to me. I mean, I've covered outdoor gear and I've covered knives, but I've never covered firearms. So. For me, this part of my channel is really novice to novice. Now, you've been at this for a long time. I thought it would be a great opportunity to just have a good conversation about basic safety because if there are other novices who are watching this segment of my channel, well, I think they have some things to learn about and I know that it's gonna be great for me. So, first things first, man. I mean, when we started talking about this particular video and what we were gonna do, you said, hey, uh, you know, do you have any hearing protection? And, you know, I pulled up, you know, the old, you know, you know, earplugs oh, that you jam in your ears, and I actually even had, you know, myself some earmuffs, and you're like, no, 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 man, you know, you, you need to get yourself some electronic earmuffs, and, and I notice you happen to be wearing yours right now. Right, so uh, I went a long time with traditional earmuffs that were not electronic. I went to multiple training classes. I wore them sometimes in the military, and whether you're shooting with friends or shooting on the range, or shooting in a training class, the ability to hear your surroundings, have a conversation, but still be hearing safe is huge. And, uh, you know, when we're on the range, someone might have to yell, cease fire. I wanna be able to hear that even if I'm firing. As a matter of fact, especially if I'm firing, right? If I'm in a class, I don't wanna constantly forget that I've got my earmuffs on, on or forget that they're off, whatever the case may be, they make a big difference. I just, they've been a huge game changer for me. And I always thought that they're super expensive and they really don't have to be. No, they're not at all. And in fact, um, it's interesting you're saying all this because I can hear you literally absolutely perfect. I mean, your dog's down here playing with his chew toy and yeah. you know, you hear the little details, like the little squeak and whatnot. So for me, I'm gonna be very interested to see how these actually perform. Um, you know, I have yet to even wear these in a live uh, situation with live fire. You know, I've done a little bit of testing just in my house, but at the same time, you know that percussive sound's gonna be completely different and especially when we get into it. And I think the decibel ratings do vary from model to model. Um, 
Uh, but my particular model here, these were pretty cheap. I mean, they were, you know, less than 50 bucks and they got me going. So pretty good for the novice to be able to walk into this, get the appropriate equipment and, you know, not really break the bank. Yeah, and where they become expensive is if you want to be able to link them also to your phone or to an earpiece and a headset if yeah. you're actually out there doing some cool guy stuff. Um, and I'm going to tell you, you really don't need all that. 99.999% of everybody, you just need to have safe hearing protection and be able to hear what's around you. Um, you know, if you need to be listening to music while you're shooting, I guess expect to pay more. But I, to me, that doesn't seem safe. I, right, you know, right. I, I, I can go without the, the music. Right. Although I would maybe double these as uh, you know my ride on low, lawnmower. lawnmower. Set, that's you know? and that's nice. You can actually get that type of hearing protection pretty cheap. But like, if you had to listen to music, the sound's actually good enough on most of these. You could just be playing it on a speaker yeah. and still hear it while you're shooting too. So that's wild. They're 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 affordable. And they're a game changer for shooting enjoyment and potentially safety. Absolutely. Jacob, I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Thank you for the input. And yep. uh, appreciate it, man. And uh, hey, with that said, you know, I think we can get a little range time in. What do you say? Absolutely. Let's do some shooting. Sounds good. Oh, my. Tap and rack. Uh, yep, there you go. There you go. So what am I going low? I'm actually not even looking. I'm just looking at the camera. Sorry. No, it's okay. Let me okay. stop recording. So, so, no, that's fine. So, I mean, I was going. I mean, I'm going for the seven, and I'm obviously low. The seven on which target? On the on the one in front of me. Okay. Yeah. So you're low. So. Have you have you uh, ever um, had anybody teach you about sight picture? I know about the sight picture, but okay. you, I'm I'm used to potentially different sights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is my objective here with the with the orange? So you want to see the full orange dot resting just in that notch? Okay, that's what I'm doing and, wrong. And cover the target that you want to hit with the full dot. dot. All right. That's what I'm doing wrong. Better. Nailed it. Improved. Improved. All right, so I'm going to attempt to finish off the knife here. Finish him. A little high. I think I missed. Let's check it out.
So close. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at these Walkers Patriot Series Razor Slim Electronic Earmuffs. I do have to say, these were great. They actually worked very, very well. And so, Jacob, you're the man. Thank you for turning me on to these products. I probably wouldn't have thought of it. And, well, that would have meant I was just stuck with the standard lawnmower earmuffs, which these are way, way better. And I'm glad Jacob brought up the fact that it's about communication while you're out there. Now, as a novice, I was not thinking that way. You know, you think I just want hearing protection. Well, no, the communication and the audible commands while you're out, that could be the biggest difference in a whole bunch of safety. So, you know, as you saw that footage, not only were we shooting, but we were actually talking to each other no problem and I never felt as though I really had to take these off. Now, the little bit of interference that I got here in the studio, that could be anything. It hasn't happened again. Um, so I, is that gonna happen from place to place or time to time? I don't know, maybe. Does it happen in my studio? Sure, but am I gonna be shooting in my studio? I damn hope not. So overall, I do have to say, I like these quite a bit. They performed extremely well. Um, these are definitely going to be part of my kit. Uh, I'm going to build myself a range bag, and these are going to go right in there. And I have to say, I am very happy with this product. And so if you like this content, do me a favor. Please like, share, and subscribe. And take a look at my main channel, Outer Limitless, where you'll find more information on outdoor hiking, camping, backpacking gear, knives, flashlights, EDC, and even some other tactical gear. So a little less firearm specific, but lots of great information. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.